off we go. So thank you very much for uh, for joining us. Our Tuesday webinar, all about how to monetize your website. So that's what today's topic is all about. And as always, we can't disappoint our audience. We'll be uh, recording today's session. So it is available if you fancy a second bite of the cherry using the chat line and uh, you'll find uh, that's the social media at client marketing if you want to have a little chat afterwards and as always for those of you who are based in the humber region there's the opportunity for some one-to-one -one marketing support so we we like to always start off with a little quiz get the audience going today is all about websites and inventors so feel free on the chat line to uh, see who you know and the answers to these questions. Who's that? Do you know who that is? Famous Scottish inventor. Technological leap driven. Do you know who that was? Any thoughts? Yes. Yeah, no, not Martin Bashir. Good guess, though. Um, John Logie Baird. Yes, he of the uh, television. Gosh, goodness gracious. And do you know who's up next in the quiz time? What's oh, who that is? Anyone know? You can have any colour you like, as long as it's black. Yeah, they were the good old days where everybody wore a hat. Yeah, Henry Ford. My goodness. Hey, that's an easier one, a bit more modern. The late lamented. Who is that? So check on the chat line once we'll over that. Do you know who that is? Steve Jobs. There he is. Oh, right. Oh, now this is the reason why we're all here today. Do you know who that is? Yeah. My goodness. A well-known person. Yeah. I wonder what he's doing there in the back in the background. That guy's reading a book. It is Sir Tim Berners-Lee, who is accredited with the World Wide Web. Hmm. But you knew that anyway. Yes, Chun got that one correct. So well done. Yeah, yeah, give me my toes. What's up next? Anybody know that is? Famous inventor. Yes. Anybody know? Oh, look at that. You want to get oh. Comes on again. Yeah, James Dyson. I've got a I've got a, uh, a Dyson. It just sits in the uh, corner of the room gathering dust, thinking of getting rid of it. Yeah, all right. Move on from that. Uh, quip. Uh, now, if you get this one, John, you are the man. You get carried on a chariot by getting this one. This is a very famous inventor, also known a movie star as well. Hmm. Isn't pretty? Yeah. Anybody want to take that one? Well worth Googling this one. How about looking up Hedy Lamar? Famous Hollywood siren, sex goddess of the era. And but also a famous inventor. Yeah, but some guidance device on torpedoes. Goodness gracious. A, a talent beyond all talents. There. There we go. That was today's quiz. And but there's a little part two. Today is all about websites. Come on. 57% of internet users won't recommend a business with a poorly designed website. True or false? Mm. Do you know the answer to that one? Well, it's not to surprise. It is true. And that 38% of people will stop engaging with the website if the content or layout is unattractive. True or false? Well, probably not a group. Oh, hang on, we've got here. Yes, Catherine, it is true again. And there's a reason why we're going to say this. And 47% of all users expect a maximum of two seconds loading time. True or false? Hmm. Well, true again. So, Attractive content, loading time. And you know, here we go, final one. It takes 4.6 seconds for a user's eye to land on the every website that most influences them. True or false? 
True or false? What have we got? True. Well, we can't have everyone that's true. It's false. It's two and a half seconds. You think of this your homework. You need loading time, you need great layout, and you need to draw the user's eyes to the, the right bit. You've got about two and a half seconds. Not long. One, two, and a bit. So you need to make sure that you can get the content in there. And you know, here's a little one for you, a bit of test for you. 70% of small business websites lack a call to action on their homepage. True or false? Now then. Mm -hmm. What have we got? Oh, false, says Catherine. False? Well, it is true. Now, here's a test for you, because often many people go on a website, and all, all there may be one is a, uh, you know, a phone number or some basic piece of information. It's absolutely critical that if you want someone to do something, it's a call to action. You want them to subscribe, you want them to buy now, whatever it is, please put a call to action. So let's move swiftly along to talk about websites just for a brief moment before we get into the main body of things. So what makes a great website? Any answer? See, you caught a glimpse there. Anybody want to fancy this on the chat line? Just a few words. What makes a great website? Mm. Open question. Anyone fancy a go at that before we move on? A few words on the um, few words there. Anyone going to type away quickly? Quick. Oh, we've got quick. we have fast and beautiful. So you're describing me? Oh no, sorry, your website. Um, easy to browse, fast, beautiful. Yeah, I couldn't. Have, yeah, I couldn't have put any better. Well, here I think you're absolutely right. Well. A great visual website, pretty, it's technically correct, and you can, you've got all the tools to make it better, but fast and beautiful and easy to use. I couldn't say any better myself. Do you know, I, I, if, you, if you're a bit bored tonight, have a look at this website, arngren.net. That is a live website. Fast, beautiful, easy to use. Maybe not. Maybe describe that as cluttered or comprehensive, depending on your perspective. But you've got to be technically correct, you've got to look the part, and you've got to have the tools to make it better. So really, in its simplest terms, you want to hook people with your website. And the best web designs really make you think. So here's a bit of alliteration for you. So it's got some kind of ingenious interaction. Phenomenal photos and something you may not have seen before. So how can you tick those boxes? Go back onto your website, look with a little bit of, is it interactive? You know, has it got some great pickies? And it may, is it something that maybe you've not seen before? So it's making people think. But Google's view is very much one that there's lots of um, documentation out there, lots of words from the Google stable talking about the user experience, the user experience. You're going on a website. If you've got a website and you leave after a short time and not done anything, the website has a high bounce rate and you leave as an unsatisfied customer. But Google knows this. So they start to downgrade the, um, the web score is not as high. So you need to have a great user experience. You need people to come onto your website and stay there and interact. That's a real task and that's the challenge within Google Analytics, know what is happening. So, so the best websites grab you, engage you, and ultimately make you want to buy or do something else. And really, majority of people, whether we like it or not, will judge a website's credibility on its appearance. You know, beauty is the eye of the world, but if it looks the part, then it, 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 it's a bit like the car showroom. The cars look shiny and new and sleek, and, you know, you, you, you're drawn to procuring them. And here is, a, here is an example of a website. 
That is the home page of the seriously unsweetened. I must point out, I'm not on commission from them. But look, that was their home page. And great branding, but that means just drew people in. And it was a thought provoking site, it loaded quickly because there's not much there to load, and it was building a brand. So, you know, take a risk. Less is more sometimes. And this was an award winning site, but, you know, Expedia, but look, you know, again, very thematic for Great Britain, but again, a fantastic image, quite a bit going on in the image, but it sort of draws you in. So, landing pages, loading quick, all good things on a website. Because when we talk about monetizing your website, you actually need to get the traffic in the first place. So great pictures, as I mentioned, always writing and thinking about the website from the customer's perspective, not from yours. And really the best websites are where it's easy to navigate around. So you're thinking less, and you understand the user's needs, so that I, your eyes will be uh, will be taken around. So very much, the website is also open all hours, and a bit like you know, think of your website very much as a corner shop. You want people to come, to the, you want people to find the shop. You want people to come in and browse, and you maybe want people to buy or act. So it's working in that particular way, but you'd also have your analytics and your measurements in place to know. It's working well. So the website should look the part. It should ideally attract visitors, people to stay and browse and to buy. If people are staying and browsing, people are looking, then it'll be um, you'll have high domain authority and Google will like you. There we are. That is all about websites. We've covered that in previous web webinars. But we want to mention that because it's one thing to talk about monetizing your site. The next thing is actually you know, to have a good website where you've got the opportunity to have traffic. And if you've got traffic, you can have a far better chance of monetizing, which is where we're on to right now. Let's talk about money. Makes the world go round, doesn't it? Money, money, money. Can't do any more songs, but let's move swiftly along. We didn't have money when I was a child. We, we didn't have much money. So I, I, I was made to walk the plank because we couldn't afford to walk a dog. Right, let's, so here we are, affiliate marketing. What is affiliate marketing? Well, it's probably the number one way in which you can make a little bit of extra lolly from your website. I'll do accents. That was a cross between Cockney and the Wurzels. So affiliate marketing. Now, what is affiliate marketing? Well, Affiliate networks connect the website owner with brands looking to promote the products. You publish it, and then you can advertise products on your site and get some money. So there we go. The website owner gets some money from putting other products on your site in simple English. And you make your money this way. You earn a commission every time you refer a customer who buys a product. But you can get paid on pay-per-click, impressions, or engagement, but usually it's about buying. But, and what's a good example? So if you have a blog, a men's interest blog, and you can promote a, a, a 40 pound shaving kit for a 50% commission. So every time someone clicks the ad and buys, ching you may earn 20 pounds. It's as simple as that. But you need to make traffic. Probably the best example of an affiliate website, not much make affiliate, is the likes of the Meerkat. Don't think the Meerkat sell insurance or all the products, but they act as an affiliate. They will make their money from the insurers and the providers them. People are going to a central point and clicking on. It's probably the best illustration of how affiliate marketing works. But I'm going to give you a better example. On the screen, take time and dwell. I'm going to explain how affiliate marketing programs work. So at the very top, there is a shoe or trainer, or in my language, a pencil. Pump 
As we just used to do PE, when we used to do PE at school, bring your pumps. Right. So you show an ad or a link on your website, blog, or social network. A customer clicks the link. Customer goes to the store. We're now at three o'clock. Customer makes a purchase and sends the transactions recorded. And the customer goes through to the store through a link. You get the, they pay the money and the commission happens. So product on your website, customer clicks through, go to another store and make a purchase. There's a recording of it. There's a tracking link with a credit and you get the commission. It is the simplest way in which you can monetize your site, an affiliate program. Now, how many of you are sitting there thinking, come on, Simon, tell me, tell me more. Tell me more. Right. Let's give you some examples of affiliate marketing. Here we go. On the screen. In one. They are six networks in, in the, where you can actually we operate as affiliates. If you could talk to any of these particular organizations, and that's the means of actually setting up affiliates. You can also set up affiliates the likes of Shopify and Amazon are probably the biggest, but these are often considered to be the uh, what maybe it's all the uh, second division or the, 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 the lesser. I haven't got the, uh, the brand status of, the, uh, of Shopify and Amazon, but these are great places to go if you would like to make a plunge into the world of affiliate marketing. So, and here is an atypical example. There's a website here called Hellfish, which is very much selling bottles and they operate there on, a, on affiliate. So they, they've got the, um, the website and, and often it goes there as an affiliation. Here is another great example of wire cutter. You can see, Clearly, that they've got the, the, they're very much a, a review site, but off you can click off to do other things in terms of actually monetizing that site. So, people going there to get popular picks, you can see they click to get other sales opportunities. Another example here in BuzzFeed again, it's a product review. Site, but again, you can see where there's opportunities for people to click off to other places. Now, the, the, there's an upside and a downside to this. The upside is that there's a great opportunity to make money from so doing. But it's got to be very much in keeping with probably your brand and your image. And so that is very much one of expectation because you could make the case that some of these sites are cluttered. But you pay your money and you take your chance. So you may wish to think, particularly if you're blogging about a particular product or a particular, say, men's health issue, running an advert, running an affiliate for, for a particular product that relates to that is, is a great way in which to actually to monetize. Again, it, it'll actually, you, you're performing a value added service as well. So, that is the first thing today, a, a affiliate marketing. And I'm just going to whiz back to here, just in case anyone have a quick check. They were some of the numbers, some of the places to go in which you may wish to talk to these organizations about signing up. Okay, right. What's up next? Ad banner adverts. So we've covered number one. We're on number two. So ad banner adverts. Now, there are others, Matrix is one, but using Google AdSense. Google AdSense. What is Google AdSense? I hear you cry from afar. Well, there you are. Screenshot taken straight from Google AdSense. Three simple steps. You make your ad space available. The highest payer ad appears in the site and you get paid. That is a screenshot from Google AdSense. So again, you, you are creating space available, codes are in there, and it works in a not dissimilar way to the affiliate, but these are ads that are appearing. 
And this is how it works. So in effect, you have an advertiser and you have an other person's website. So you are Jane, as it were, and uh, always Fred. And you can see that Google acts as a broker. So somebody will run an ad on the site, they'll purchase it from that, and there'll be a profit from that, and you will pay Google for the privilege. So clicking on the ad banner, going off and purchasing works well. So in this situation, the banner ads go directly to companies with the relevant product, and you can make, but you can do it yourself if you make, you can set the rates yourself if you know people to approach. You, but rather than use Google AdSense, you may wish to sell the banners, the banners to other businesses. You can set the rates yourself rather than handing over commission to Google. So there is, there are two options. So banner ads, a great way in which to, again, you can run it in a conjunction with affiliates. And it works this simple way that networks will pay you when someone clicks on the ad or maybe um, every thousand impressions, which is, which is more than Mike Yarwood could ever do. But banner ads. And here is a classic example of running this way. So there are, there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a copy on the website and there you can see that it's a relevant advertisement click and you can see it has to be classified with the word add and off you go when you work here see great site this one at forum.com yeah so i had to pause for a moment then to get your claws into this particular organization and you can see that there again they're running a they're running a, an ad for hoot suite that's within the um within the cat forum and again, you've got a similar advertisement here from GIF Maker. Again, they're, they're running an advert rating to Hootsuite, but also into a job advert. So they're appearing there as banner ads, either at the top or along the side. So they're working similarly, similarly, the likes of a lot of the social media advertising and the sponsored posts work in a not dissimilar way. But you might wish to have a little look. I can't even say this properly. Tabula. Tabula. It displays articles rather than banners from ads on the network. So it's a slightly different uh, situation. So you might wish to think about that as opposed to running banners that run articles. So, okay, but affiliates, banner ads. How about text link ads? Yes. So it and on the screen is there, you know, there's a very simple thing. It's popular links, click here. So just a straightforward text link ad, not dissimilar both the banner ads, but text link ads are an opportunity. And in, in the simplest terms, you sell the basic text, link, text links to an advertiser's website, and it's a fixed fee or charge and burn click. And you can buy, but you're using the likes of backlinks and links panel and or you can buy and sell links in effect again you're trying to encourage a continuous sustainable revenue by using tech click advertising and again worth checking out backlinks and links panel much in the same way as the six others on the affiliates so tech link advertising as well what have we got now must be by definition we must be on to number four email subscribers and many of you will have email listings no less and you've got people who will subscribe on your site but you can actually capture audience and communicate them after they've left the site you can email them so people come on and leave that so you get various different products that they may be interested in. so it's an affiliate promotion so using the um, emails you've got can earn commission if they sign up and buy something. So the likes of AW Weather is a great place to go to look upon using and create of email subscription as a way of generating revenue. And, and this is it. 
very much again a screenshot from Aweber. You know, they, they will actually put, they will take care of this. So they'll come up with email solutions in which you can actually use the list again as a means of generating affiliate programs and engaging with an audience on that basis. Again, there's always a software solution to generate activities. Think about using some of your email listings. And there's other programs as well, which are Max Bounty, Never, Never Blue, and Peerfly. They can actually, you can, can cross refer with email listings as well. So other businesses. Now you might be into GDPR territory here, but again, it's worthwhile liaising with these organizations to see if you're picking up subscribers in the value in which you can generate leads for other companies. In effect, sort of a matchmaking kind of scenario. Hey, well, we're rattling along today. How about number five, I think, sponsored posts. Well, it's an advertorial containing a, an, a, a website link. An advertiser sends you an article, you can write content for them, and it's, you know, you'd be quids in, you'd be charging for your time as well. So you're creating a content as an advertorial and it can sit there on a post. So in effect, you can creating material and creating a sponsored post. You know, the figures for a small business vary between 35 and 200 pounds. So, you know, by joining networks on Facebook and share, that's where you, you advertisers may approach you deliver sponsored posts for some of their audience. Here is a classic example, you know, about sunbathing. So you've got the likes of, you know, I, I really love to spend an entire day relaxing in the sun, but it's relating very much to uh, cancer research. Again, it's a post there uh, that's better, that uh, is got it's sponsored an opportunity to uh, raise money both for a good cause, but it fits nicely um, with the content in place. And here, again, a, a quite interesting example, just an article that exists there in the New York Times about women inmates while the male model doesn't work. And again, you can see whereby, you know, this post is sponsored by the likes of Netflix. The creating content and that can get sponsored is, is a, a way in which you can actually, again, attract audience, especially if you're writing uh, and becoming ed experts in your own field. Again, it can be done also with video as well. Again, you can create, you can use a sponsored post, not just in the written word, but also using video. Again, a great example here um, about, about, you can see that the, the, the product about teeth cleaner, but again, we've got opportunities there to cross refer to Spotify, Amazon X, and so it's audio material as well. So it doesn't just work on the posts relating very much to um, other means other than the written word. Oh, sponsored posts, what's up next? Well, we're getting on to actually doing some selling. We can sell digital products. What digital products can we sell? Well. Here we go. If many of you are writing content, creating content, there are ebooks, there's printable material, graphics, templates, podcasts. You know, and, you, and if you have written um, work, made yourself an ebook, you know, it's ballparkish kind of figure, three pounds for a 5,000 word ebook. Some of you on, on the webinar this afternoon, maybe, maybe writing blogs, maybe writing content. We'll put it all together, create an ebook that you can resell. Yeah, so selling digital products. But if you are content creators, then you know, no, it would make sense to put it all together and to make a few pennies from it. One place to go that may help you in this process is Envato and a website that will be helpful in this regard. As you can see, classically here, a uh, ebook sold by, I wish I could pronounce this gentleman's name, but again, the writing content there, 
And again, it's all sold through ebooks, which you may wish to put on it off your own website and go to Amazon, wherever it might be, or other platforms. You can make a career, make a career, you can certainly make uh, um, uh, an income from this as an additional item. And again, here's a good example showing on social media, you know, people writing copy that becomes becomes monetized. The copy cure, a good place to look as well. So what's up next? You're selling digital products. How about selling from physical products? Well, I don't have any physical products to sell. I hear you cry. Well, you may not do, but you'd be surprised what people buy. So you can naturally do what the likes of the Tasty Kitchenware do. You are just, in effect, creating a website to sell kitchenware products. Shop now, you can see wonderful image there, right from pans to ovens to shears, timers, all fantastic image. Great example of making a uh, engaging, sexy, funny, call it what you will, landing page. So great place to go in which to position yourselves. But anyone use Zazzle, Zazzle, I like saying that word, like Zorro. So Zazzle is a place where you may wish to actually start to sell and market products. So your brand, you may wish to make t-shirts or mugs so that you can then sell. If, for example, if you have a, even if you sell, even if you're marketing your, your, your business, it's purely a service. People enjoy that service. You may wish to actually monetize it through t shirts, polo shirts, and mugs. And the likes of the Zazzle will create that. So that doesn't, that overcomes the issue that you may not wish to promote either through banner advertising or through affiliate marketing other companies' products but you can sell your own physical products. The client marketing mug, for example, for my own business, whatever it might be, different ways in which you can cut it. So there is something else. It must be about number eight now. Number eight? Goodness, I think it is number business directories. Well, how about setting up your own business directory? you're an expert in your own sphere or your own sector, you can actually set up your own directory. So people, companies will pay you to set up your own, uh, have them registered on that. So don't just be slaves to yell or others. What's wrong with having your own directory? If you're a specialist in your area, you're attracting other businesses in. An example, um, uh, might well be in a scenario, let's assume you're, you're involved in, you're a website reviewing sound systems. You can charge retailers to feature on a page listing places that sell top of the range speakers. Much in the same way we saw earlier, whereby there was, there was product reviews there and you were, you were using banner links and affiliate marketing to other products. If you are, an, say, an expert reviewing sound systems, there will be retailers who may wish to be on that page. So again, you can create places there to feature on it, and it becomes a natural directory. So business directory is another one. Ooh. Where are we now? Premium articles. What are premium articles? Well, imagine you're in, oh, remember the days of table football. I'd never been so excited at Christmas when I got bought cable football. Oh, me and my brothers played it for hours. Yeah, there we are. Oh, quick reminisce. Imagine you're a gaming website. You, you can create really useful content by giving people tips on how to, how to game, how to improve. But then you can link them. You can link to a password protected page where there is a more detail. In effect, if you want to tell people how to game or to gamble, or whatever it might be, experts in a particular field, give people free content. But if they want the full content, you have to pay for it. It's writing premium articles. And again, if you're offering great value, the people will be willing to pay for it. Friend of mine, 
it, it subscribes to a, a gentleman is in Denmark, and he actually provides tips on how to train a horse, you know, particularly revolutionary like the horse whisperer. He'll give tips on how to train a horse, but then he pay for the for the premium service. So, you know, learn learn more and have a far more in depth. So oh, writing premium articles. And again, you know, you can expect per article to be getting somewhere between two and ten pounds. And again, it'll work for the likes of PayPal. So oh, great content, premium articles. Now we must be finished now. Oh no, I'm giving you extra value. So I think we're into number 11. You can always start a membership forum. And what? Is a membership forum. So you can have a members only forum on your website, which are the WordPress plugins like BB Press. Some of you have been monitor. And again, a subscription service to be part of a membership forum. Works really well in the travel industry. People that, you know, particular sector, people that, or in some counseling or other areas where people like to liaise with others. But if you are hosting the membership forum, it brings traffic into your site, brings money. And that's it. You must offer value, a reason to be there. And examples of this, you'll find it in paid communities, the likes of Traffic Think Tank. Again, it focuses on discussion boards, directories. So there's a real example to look at for paid like community. Education, you may look at Group Art Academy as a good example of a membership forum, and they will access to all sorts of uh, information on um, educational matters. And then Mark Women Mastermind Coaching for Students. It's this exclusivity, it's this value you're offering. And there are three examples there, different sites with membership forums that are paid. So worth checking those out and I'm giving you more than 10. So don't complain. How about selling, which is not dissimilar to selling a digital product, you can always sell online courses. And again, Aweb is a great example of this, where people, you can deliver courses. And Udemy is a great place to reach a wider customer base. So you can create an online course on your website. So let's assume you're a web designer. You can give people a tips on how to, how to build their own website. There's so much you can do depending on the sectors you're in, but creating online courses and using some of the software I've mentioned is a way of which you can position yourself as expert and make money from so doing. Or you can even create your own affiliate program. You don't need the aforementioned companies, but you actually can create your own and there are different ways to do it so check out awin it's a good place to do that you can get more leads more traffic to your site with your own affiliate program ah, there we are my thought what there's more more boy quote uh, oliver twist how about getting donations donations what what add a paypal donation button to your website ask people to give a bit of money what Yes, or you can always link the Buy Me A Coffee page. Add that onto your site. What, people will donate? Oh, yes, because does anyone know the name on the chat line? Anyone at the aforementioned? We think of a famous donation site. Anyone know of a famous donation site? You will, Catherine, get a copy of the slides later. Don't worry. I remember going to Stonehenge. Goodness gracious. In the good old days, you didn't have to pay. You could just walk around the stone, but things have changed. There we go. Come on, famous donation site. Three, two, one. Wikipedia. Mm. So, and there'll be lots of donations of people, uh, with some of the newspaper sites as well will work in that they will want to subscribe and only give you a certain amount to read. So you can go down the route. Whoops, I've gone there. You can ask for donations. 
People do it all the time. Buy me a coffee. So if you're giving out great content, you often see it in the charitable sector. But if you're delivering stuff, you can become asked for donations. Hmm. I'll give you more than 10 of that. YouTube. This is, this is going above and beyond. How about video? Video kill the radio star. Who remembers that? Back in the day. Was that Trevor Horn? I think it was. Just give you the good side. Oh, there we go. Video. You, if you create video content on your website, it can earn you some money. You can monetize it. You can upload it to YouTube. And if you integrate it with Google AdSense, remember we spoke about Google AdSense earlier. Video content brings people in there. You might get even paid by YouTube if you get to long, a certain number of subscribers. And your video goes viral, you're off and running. So you can embed videos and fit them all together. So YouTube videos and integrating with AdSense is a nice way, because again, you're fitting around the Google products. And finally, yes, there's more. How about doing something really radical? Half a pound of sprout. You could sell your own website. Oh, yes. How about that? What? If you've got a website that's growing, you've got traffic in, you're getting revenue from it, from all these different activities, you have an asset. Hmm. So, Flipper. Now, anyone make it, anyone remember Flipper? Yeah, was it Flipper? The, the dolphin? It was, I think. Flipper, businessforsale.com are places to go where you can sell your assets. And it's estimated by the sagacious financial folk. You can earn six times your, uh, expect to earn six, ten times your website's monthly profit. You have an asset. Now, what are you thinking? Hang on a second, Simon. I do all this effort and I sell it. Well, maybe. But what you might want to do if you have a business is to set up more than one website. Do all this activity, generate revenue, and sell it. How about that for a business? Hey, mm. that'll get you thinking. Sell your website. Five, tell you what, you've got more than 10 out of me today. Ah, and you'll get, but here are five quickie de quick other ways you can RSS feeds again, they can be linked to advertising. You can rent, rent, a page, rent a page, sell your pages, offer coupons or affiliate links, run a job board, and even advertise your own services. Great places to go for additional help to bring us some corn in. So there we go. Now I promise you, three quarters of an hour, and you'll be thinking, God, it goes a bit fast. I haven't taken all this in. Well, it doesn't matter. The best single piece of marketing advice I could ever offer you is to copy others. Well, not plagiarize, not plagiarize, but copy. Spend your time doing your homework, find out what works elsewhere. Borrow the model, improve the model. I remember reading, I don't, well, don't read many business books, but I read, I was on holiday once. I did go on holiday once. I went on holiday once. There I was in Skegness, and I was sitting reading a book. It was Duncan Bannatyne's book. And he gave a bit of advice. He said, don't try and come up with killer ideas. Copy others, but do it better. So look what works out there. The other websites, other places they're going where they're monetizing it. See what they're doing, see what's working, talk to people, liaise with them, and off you go. Do it differently. Do it better. Do it with a twist. There we are. Oh, final thought of the day. So what's next? Well, it's afternoon tea. You've always got the opportunity for the marketing one-to-one. -one. I will send you a copy of the slides. And what's on next week? What, more excitement? Yeah. I'm here every Tuesday, yes. We've got Tiffin coming up. But next week is all about, I'm going to give you lots of the 10, 15 tools to 
use to help you along with your marketing. So I'm going to show you lots of free tools to help you automate your marketing. That's what next week is about. And then it's whole business week. I'll be back for even more. Oh, goodness gracious. But to answer any questions on the chat line, Catherine will we receive the slides later. You will. Yeah, I'll give you my Swiss bank account if you want as well. Uh, I'm just joking. Uh, just giving, great one to go to in terms of that's obviously for charitable, but you can use that as well. Yeah. And Mark mentions Patreon. So what was the author I mentioned? Duncan Bannertime. Well worth looking. He of one of the early performers on um, Dragon's Den. Basically, uh, he he uh, in the story he tells about he used to go and visit his mother in the nursing home, and one thing he noticed in the nursing home was the issue relating to the smell of urine, which unfortunately does happen. And so he said, well, when he does his nursing home, he's going to make sure every every nursing home he has has an ensuite. He realised what the existing model was. He added value in there. It solved an issue and the whole, so he was able to charge more for offering added value. But you just, you just realise what works and how you can add extra in. So maybe worth checking Duncan Bannertown. He's also involved in the ice cream wars in, in Glasgow where I think got a bit nasty. Yeah, hundreds of thousands of people were there. Yeah, all right, okay. Right. What, what, any, any other questions before uh, I go and have my afternoon lie down? If there are not, I'm sitting staring at the chat line. If not, I hope you've enjoyed it. So next week, two o'clock, same channel, same back channel, same content, different jokes. But more marketing knowledge to bestow upon you if you fancy a little uh, delve in there. You don't get the old, this is not the any old webinar. This one, you get a bit of light relief and hopefully some learning. So you'll get a copy of the slide, you get a copy of the recording. And I bid you a fond farewell. Adieu. <laughs>